Welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a Laravel uh, Docker environment. So, usually Laravel has a uh, Docker environment called Shale, but I usually not uh, going to use the Shale because uh, I usually like to uh, create my uh, in Docker environment myself. So, if you just uh, use the you if you want to use the Shale, that you can skip this tutorial. It's actually uh, this tutorial actually on creating your own docker environment for your laravel project so you can see i already created a folder called laravel docker you can keep this folder anywhere in your computer and i'm going to create the two files in here one is called docker file another is called docker compose yml file so you can see these two files has some naming convention so that i have written all the small letter docker compost and dot yml, yml is actually a naming convention in here it's a yml file and the and the and the next one is the docker file the first word i have just uh, given the capital letter and the rest of the part is a small letter so this two file uh, so in fast file that means in docker file uh, it, uh, this file has no any extension it's just a name so in this docker file if you just write some in instruction so it will run and it will install everything in your environment so we'll just uh, write a uh, some instruction in this docker file so first instruction that i wanted to um, write and that will be uh, we will just use a image for our laravel project so we need a php environment with apache so i'm just going to use the form there is a built-in uh, image for us so i'm just going to use this from and base image this base image will be the php and it will be the 8 point 1.0 in this time that i'm using and it will be with the apache so so we are just going to use a php environment with the apache and next part we will just mention the work directory work directory usually in linux environment uh, we know that the bar www www is hosting that usually use in bar www directory so we will just write here the word directory bar ww and html so this is our working directory our files all the laravel files you will see in your html directory when you will access the docker container okay so next thing that i will do we will just on the rewrite mode so i am just given the command in here and the next we will update our apt get package in linux so we have just given here the run apt get update y and install and here i just use uh, for i just use the install command and here you can see the i have given the three library name library icu that's for intl extension and unzip and zip the three library that i have used and the next thing that we will just install the composer so here is the composer so we have used the image a image in here composer latest image that we have used and the next thing that we will just install some php extension so for example for laravel so we have just uh, used here the get text ex extension and intl extension and also pdu mysql extension so if you require more extension you just add uh, sequentially like that just a space and name another extension it's very simple so after save we just uh, written all command in here then we will just go the docker compost file here we will mention our service name so we will just write here the services and the first that we will just write the service my service name for example laravel docker is my service name and after the colon in here i will just give a tab in here 
so this tab and spacing is very important when you will write the docker compose.yml file so you can see that i'm in here i just given a tab and in here i've given the two tab in here and uh, in here i'm just mentioning the container name so the container name that i have given the laravel doc app it's depend on you any name that you can use and the next thing i'm just going to use another attribute called build so when you write this build and i've given a uh, dot in here that means that it will search for your docker file so you can see that these two files in the same directory so that's why i'm just given here the dot if there is another folder called php and docker file into this php folder then you have to, then you have to put here like php folder and the f and then uh, it will just run in the php folder so now it will just search the where is the docker file in here and it will run the docker file and the next thing we'll just use a volumes attribute in here and here is the volume attributes it will actually sync your project file and folders uh, or assets with your local to your container so the first this part your local local and this part for your container part after this colon so before this colon you can see the laravel app when you will run this uh, uh, container when you will try to build this container you will see you will see a folder will be created in here and in the same time uh, if you just uh, create any file or anything in this laravel app this file will be automatically a uh, clone in this html directory okay so the final things that i'm just going to change my ports so usually in local in locally uh, laravel project will be run in default port 80 but we are just going to change it 80 to 9000 so i have given here the 9000 port so after save everything i'm just going to give a command here called docker compose build so you can create uh, give a command build and up in the same time so it will just uh, it will create your container in the same time it will run it but for this uh, tutorial i separately going to give this two uh, separate command one is for the build and one is for the app another is for the for the app so this is for the build command that i've given so it's just installing everything that you have mentioned in here okay so very very fast it's just created everything so so now our environment has created but uh, uh, it's not up yet so i'm just given a command called docker compose up and just hit on enter so it has just uh, started so if you just go in your docker desktop it's a software where you can see that your container list in here and this green uh, color that mentioned that it's actually running in your 9000 port so it's already running but we haven't uh, installed the laravel so project this file has created that we have mentioned in here the laravel app but there is nothing it's just empty folder so what we will do we'll just going to we'll just going to access our container so to check that how many container is running in my local uh, machine you, you just need to give a command docker ps and you can see here is the list of your container list so only only one container is running that's called laravel doc app so i'm just going to uh, access this container using a command called docker exec it and the container name and just bash and hit on enter so i'm in now in directory for ww html so if you just uh, want to see anything in, in this html folder you just uh, uh, need to give a command called ls then you can see it's just empty nothing in here so we will just install the laravel project in here and it will automatically sync to docker container to local so if there is no any php in your local server then no problem you just uh, if you're using docker 
then if you just uh, try to install laravel then easily you can install in here so you can check your php version here so you can see that here the 8.1 version is running in my docker container so i mean here i will just take this command composer command and you can see that composer create project laravel laravel and this example app i will just remove it completely and i'll just give here the dot so it will just install in in my root directory that means in html so after given enter so just installing in html directory in the same time you will see the file and folders is cloning in your local okay okay so it's everything is just downloading in your container in the same time in your local so we'll just waiting some moment okay so download and install download complete now it's installing at the same time it's just uh, uh, generating the key and everything okay so everything is done so if you just go in your local host and go in local host 9000 so you're seeing that forbidden but if you just go in public folder you will see that laravel is running in here so we will not uh, use here the artisan command uh, directly or artisan uh, php artisan uh, run these types of command so we will just want to see this uh, project in our local directory in here not in public directory so we know that we have to change the stxs file so we need to create stxs file in here so i'm just going to create a stxs file in here and in this stxs file I'm just given three line that I have actually taken from Stack Overflow. <laughs> so this is the three lines. So after save, if you just go and reload your page again, so you can see that it's running in your 9000 port. So that's the tutorial. Uh, welcome for the next tutorial.